What's up guys, so welcome to this video. So let's start to drive. Alright guys, so welcome to the video. So this video, this would be the review of the new A-Class and it would be 5 month update and also review uh, of my A-Class. So I have this car since the, since the beginning of the August. Now it's beginning of the January, so Happy New Year to all of you. And I hope this angle from my GoPro is better from my head. All right. So let's start with drive because uh, I think this is the most important thing about the car is how it drives. So this drives in a shortcut, this car drives amazing, as you can see the uh, windscreen fluid is, uh, has like three points where it uh, splash your screen, so the screen is very nice uh, and clean, of course if you go higher speed then uh, it's like a little bit uh, worse here. I'm just want, I just want to keep to uh, keep off the active line assist. Also, I turn it off and the engine starts stop. All right. So uh, as I want to show you, I have with car uh, 8,000 and almost 500 kilometers. So uh, I think in a couple of minutes there will be uh, 8,500 kilometers. I will uh, show the miles on the screen. It's around 5,000 miles, I think, a little more than 5,000. Uh, so I have this setup, which is middle setup for the screens. This screen is 7 inch and this one is 10.25 inch. Uh, so basically, this is middle option. The top option is if you, if both screens are like this one, 10.25 inch. And the base is if both screens are 7 inch, but there is like a visible border between the visible bezel and border with, between the display and like this frame. So I think this is a really nice option if you don't want to spend for the big pack where is uh, where are the both two big screens and etc. Also this car is AMG line so it has a different uh, steering wheel, different uh, seats, I will show you uh, that later. Also it has uh, minus uh, 15 millimeters lower uh, ride height and uh, basically this means that the car has uh, is, is more stable in the corners and um, yeah it's more sporty. Also th the suspension is different on the AMG line. So shortly, in a few seconds, we are going to enter the highway. Uh, here the highway speed limit is 130 kilometers per hour, which is like um, 80 uh, miles per hour. So I will show you exactly, I'm going to switch to ref counter, how much, um, how much uh, revs has this uh, car on this speed. This is 1.5 liter uh, diesel engine. 116 uh, horsepower. All right. So how I accelerate is I just hold this button, which is cruise control, and you can push it up. I'm, my foot is off the accelerator, and I just place it on 130. Okay. And now the car accelerates itself.
115, 120, 125, so 130 kilometers per hour and 7th gear. So this car has 7 speed automatic gearbox. Of course, maybe you can hear now uh, the sound is uh, it's more noisy here, but uh, this is because uh, of a couple of things. First thing is uh, now it's winter time here and I have winter tires uh, which have a softer compound and also the car uh, is more allowed with winter tires than with summer tires uh, but it's not uh, very uh, it's not like huge so this is 130 uh, which is like a standard for Europe in uh, UK and in uh, USA, of course it depends on the region of the country, but uh, most of those countries have lower speed limit. So I'm going to slow down. So 60 miles per hour is around 102 kilometers per hour. So now just I'm going a little bit uphill, so the car downshifted, but soon I will be on, on the even uh, road. So this is like UK or uh, United States or United Kingdom speed limit, 60 miles per hour, which is 102 kilometers per hour. So maybe you notice the, the sound is uh, much lower. Of course, this is uh, with the music off. If you listen to the music, then uh, the difference is even uh, lower because there is a uh, music playing for you. But let's keep it like this without the music. Uh, so there are a couple of factors, mainly winter tires, which are more noisier than summer tires. And uh, yeah, overall, this car is very. Uh, Aerodynam aerodynamic, <laughs> aerodynamically, aerodynamically efficient. Uh, so yeah, this car goes through the air uh, very easy. Uh, so uh, this is uh, very nice. And overall, this car behaves on the uh, on the highway and overall on the roads like much much bigger car. So uh, you have a feeling like this is a much bigger uh, segment of the car. So, for example, uh, from my experience uh, for the past five months, this feels like something like a bigger car, like for example, like Volkswagen Passat or C-Class. So, uh, my friend uh, has a uh, last model of the C-Class, 2015 or 16, I don't remember exactly. This feels pretty much like the like that C-Class older. Now it's a facelifted C-Class, so interior is a little bit better. But overall, uh, it feels like this. So uh, also you have a lot of space here. So this is much bigger than the previous A-Class and looks uh, like on, a, on another level. So um, this car looks much, much better than its predecessor. So I really like, uh, I really, I was really surprised uh, when I started to drive this car. So when I was on the test drive, the first car which I test drove was Audi A3. And immediately after that, I went to the Mercedes uh, showroom and I uh, test drove the, the A-Class. And it was a base uh, A-Class, uh, not, not super best, uh, not super lowest. It had, it had like a comfort seats and a few other things, uh, but it wasn't like AMG line, so it was uh, like a base model, but with the same engine like this. And I was really, uh, really surprised between the difference between the A3 Audi and between the this uh, A-Class. So uh, it was really like a mind-blowing difference. Uh, of course, this is because the A3 is an older model, it, uh, I think it was um, unveiled to the market like 2012, something like that. 
So now, the, now it's like five uh, or six years old uh, car. So everything is uh, older, of course. Direct competitor would be uh, the previous A-Class. Not this one, but the previous one. The W176. This is W177. So, uh, but I compare what is on the market. So I compared uh, what I can buy now. Uh, or uh, the last year. Also now there is no uh, new A3. It's still old A3 and the new A3 might be uh, this year, uh, later, maybe uh, end of the year. I'm sure then uh, the A3 will be a similar level like this car, so uh, but we need to see uh, and uh, yeah we need to see uh, what they will do with the A3. But yeah I just wanted to sh tell you that uh, it was um, really big difference. So now when I want to slow down, I just press this button two times and I have now 80 km per hour on the cruise control and the car is stopping itself. Now it's 60, so I'm going to push twice also and the car is also slowing down and it's doing very smoothly. It's not like uh, drastic, it's very, very, uh, very comfortable feeling. Now it's 40, so two times. If I press this uh, button two times stronger, then it uh, slows down for 10 km per hour. When I push it like a little bit up and down, then it's going only one km per hour. So I'm not sure how much miles it adds if you are in the UK or in US and you push this button. I'm not sure if 10 miles or seven miles, because the equivalent for 10 kilometers per hour would be like seven miles, maybe, I, I'm not sure. But around that, uh, 6.5, maybe like this. So I'm not sure how they will adjust this, but uh, for the kilometers per hour, it adds 10 if you press hard. And if you press uh, little, then it adds only uh, one kilometer per hour. So I can now accelerate a little bit. I will enter now the city and there will be like 50 kilometers per hour speed limit. So uh, now I'm sure you can uh, hear me much better. There is a less road uh, noise from the tires and overall this car has uh, amazing uh, noise uh, insulation. So when I compared it to the A3, uh, it was like a, a massive difference uh, because um, for example, when I drove uh, with uh, A3, I uh, heard the cars uh, next to the me much more than in the A-Class. So uh, overall uh, there is much more uh, sound uh, isolation in this car and uh, the manufacturers try to make this car uh, like a bigger, bigger feeling car and also bigger in uh, diameter, in uh, like measurements, because this car uh, is uh, bigger than a predecessor in uh, all aspects so uh, this is great and uh, yeah it feels like a much bigger car so it's very stable on the road even at uh, higher speeds uh, like 130 kilometers per hour which uh, is only uh, I think is only allowed in uh, Europe and uh, and in uh, uh, Germany, where is unlimited uh, autobahn on some parts. So now I, I'm going uh, 90 kilometers per hour, uh, which is around 60, I think. I will uh, write it on the screen. So this is cross country, countryside, one carriage lane uh, driving speed. Also, I will soon enter the city. I don't even need to touch the brakes when I press this button a few times and I set it to 50 kilometers, the cruise control, then uh, it slows down automatically. If I want to add speed, I can add it with the cruise control button. I don't need to have a, a feet on the brake or the accelerator. So the car is uh, doing it automatically. And 
this is this this car doesn't even have the this tronic uh, system which which can uh, accelerate and brake uh, for you depending on the car uh, before you which is in front of you i think this is the best uh, hatchback and best car in this class because in the uh, us there won't be a hatchback version only sedan but uh, i think this it would be the same car because the the di dimensions are the same, just the back of the car is different, so... Uh, so yeah. In the front, and uh, it would be the same. And I think the driving will be also the same. Maybe a little bit different, but you would need to drive like uh, crazy to know the difference. The brakes are very nice. Uh, like, uh, when I first experienced them, I was really surprised. Because uh, uh, this is the first time, uh, first experience for me with the uh, with the premium uh, cars, and uh, the brakes, the brake where the brake pedal feel, the brake pedal feel was uh, really nice. So when I accelerate to 20 kilometers per hour, I can press this button, and uh, it will accelerate to the last set. Uh, cruise control automatically so i can just a little bit push the car starts to moving then i press this button up and the car will fix the last uh, cruise control speed and that's how i drive basically in the city if there isn't like a traffic jam of course if it's like here uh, many people overtake me so uh, yeah i can just uh, follow the speed limit with cruise control and it's it's very relaxing and very easy uh, drive So guys, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Of course, subscribe for future videos and turn the notification bell on so you are notified for new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day and Happy New Year 2019.